Good morning. Hello. Happy new week. Got to reposition all the things since I um, actually ended up uh, doing something on this computer over the weekend. So I reset everything. Uh, but I think we're about ready to uh, continue on. Um, so let's see, where did we live off? Leave off? Live off? Um, uh, we left off with associating author with books. Uh, we have all the, okay, so we have the tests written in here, and then our error is a 404. So we're attempting to go to... slash book authors and do a post. So book authors post. So that's what we need to add in. Should I quit this as a book author? Maybe because it's sort of in between the two. I think I have this as part of Well, I have it as part of author. So maybe we can put it as part of author then. Uh, Scott, hello. How are you doing today? So looking at 404, ooh, I should be getting, okay, so apparently I didn't do that. Oh, is it book author? It's book authors, isn't it? Uh, great, you got some help from Togglebit with Crossterm. Um, he did a really good teaching system. Anyone else would watch replay is probably around the two hour mark. Uh, is it on YouTube or is it only on Twitch? Probably only on Twitch. Um, let me, first of all, let me double check my links allow Twitch links. I think those should be fine. So YouTube is fine. But yeah, okay, so twitch.tv is an accepted domain. So if you have a link to the VOD, uh, you can post it here in chat. Okay, so you're going to book authors and you're doing a a post. So 
to book authors post. Nothing else is using anything close to that. So shouldn't that give us not a 204? I would assume that should give us a, a 200. Okay, so... Unless, like, I horrifically misspelled this. Let's just save everything. Maybe I forgot to save something. Ah, it's still a 404. Still can't find it. Okay, so that is a post. To book authors. It's part of the route. Uh, the order of the test is randomized, so, okay, so this is, get one author, there's a 204, there's a 200, okay, there's our 404, so I want, Uh, it's a post to slash books. A post to slash books. I don't have anything weird in here. Why is it going to books? And there's nothing else. Yeah, there's no other two. There's no four of fours from there. Uh, okay, so you are saying this is test types. Line 126. Oh, not that one. Oh, when attempting to create a book, it got a 404. Oh, that's why, because we have to create a book. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, Anshul, hello. What's a D what's DB assessment? Uh, assuming what DB to use? Not exactly. So it's going to be more of a, um, the DB assessment is going to be about connecting to a DB, uh, then, um, set up migrations and seeds to configure the database. Uh, and then I guess like configures, maybe not word, right word, uh, set up the database, like prep, prep it for actual use and then creating the, routes or like maybe not creating the routes but um basically creating the queries and other things all around like manipulating the data and getting the data in the database so it's a fairly big assessment where you're going to be writing migration seeds connecting to the data like you know the initial connection type stuff creating the 
entity and migration migrate create uh let's see what else creating the queries creating uh, i guess like updating the um updating the routes to actually do stuff with that yeah we're using crm for this to keep consistent with what i did last time uh i think i want to do a follow-on afterwards with sql x because i've heard i've been hearing really good things about sql x late, lately so we're going to start with crm and then we'll move move then i'll just sort of like read read the read the room um after that Um, I think you had mentioned it sometime in the past, but uh, uh, remind remind us again. Um, what were your contrib contributions? Contributions. Um, apparently, I can't pronounce this morning. Uh, but that's awesome that you made contributions to CORM. Was it the ORM part or the CQL or because like I know there's a lot of parts to uh, CORM. Limicode, hello. How are you doing today? Uh oh. Oh, is that a link to your blog? Okay, hold on. Let me let me load this up over here. Um, yeah, so it's SQL, SQL query, you update, uh, let's see, update SQLite backend Boolean type from int to bool. Um, oh, right, because in SQLite, it's one and zero, right? And uh, CRM update get info method to respect date time create. That's nice. Uh, yeah, th those are, those are good. I remember there's a lot of little tiny, tiny things in SQLite that just sort of get you because they're just like, they're, there's subtle differences between it and actual SQL. But that's cool. Good job. Um, Lumicode, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, had a good weekend. Looking forward to, uh, uh, doing, doing more, like working more of this in the mornings. Um, okay. So if I got that now, we shouldn't have the 200, the 404 anymore. Now we should have, there we go. Now we get a 200 instead of a 201 on line 126 which is this create book. So we need it. We need to now make the book be created. Uh, all right. So working backwards from this, uh, we have our, I guess we could start with the routes book. So what do we want to do here? We need to, Uh, we need to extract out, uh, extract out the book. Uh, we need to run query to create the book. Respond with created book. All right, I need to remember how I'm doing 
types because uh, I figured out a, a good way to do sort of like these centralized types uh, a little bit better in Rust projects this weekend, um, but I don't think I'm doing that here. Okay, they do have a centralized types. So, okay, so I have types and we have a book here. Okay, so we can head into there. Ah, okay, so then this gives us this thing. So I don't see a reason why we can't sort of do what I'm um, do this like new pattern that I learned, at least for this one. Uh, I think what I'll be doing is I'll be removing these. Yeah, I'll be removing these because uh, they'll be part of the exercise, so it'll be fine. Your Discord bot in Rust is finished. Uh, but you're a little hesitant to publish it to users. You're delaying it by adding more stuff. What's the what's the problem? Like, what what are you? What's the um, what's the concern? Like, what what do you think is going to happen? Good morning, stacking. Current users are used to using the text commands, but Discord made a push to use their new API called slash commands. Is is the target audience that you're going to use right now the type of people that you can like? You can tell them, "Hey, this is you know Discord just updated. Uh, I just want you to like test it out with these commands right now." and let me know what, you know, is this something you like? Do you want any changes to it? You can even tell them exactly what to do, right? Like you don't have to just give it to them and say, hey, use this and tell me what you think. You can just say, hey, try these commands. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, Scott, you found the toggle bit stream. Uh, this is an explanation of cross term, but toggle bit. It starts around the two hour, 20 minute mark. Was that from today? Um, I know that. Yeah. Okay. That is from today. Nice. Oh, and I'm glad that he was able to stream for uh, a couple, uh, a while. Toggle, I know that toggle bit wasn't feeling very well recently. So uh, being able to stream for a long time to me, hopefully means that he's feeling a lot better. Yeah, you could tell them you also made demo videos. Maybe you should ask to test it. Yeah, so my suggestion is do that because you can still, like, even though you might, like, it might not be considered usable in, like, a normal sense because it's not using the right API, you might be able to get some feedback in general on the bot, and that is worth its weight in gold. And if you have the ability to get that right now, just go ahead and do that. Even if you have to, like, just tell them exactly what to do and how to do it. That's going to be worth way more than spending more time figuring things out.
Okay, so I'm creating a mega book struct here, and it's going to be used to take in new things like, okay, I want the name, I want the price, and I want in stock, and that's going to be great, right? Uh, but the I, I don't always have these things, I don't think, uh, and so therefore I, I can't necessarily, like, there are options like this. Uh, now, of course, we're going to have a few errors, just just a few, uh, that we have to now deal with, right? So when I'm creating... Okay, so this is a test. Okay, so I want to create a new book and hand it these things. So I want these to be sums too. if I'm going to be able to do this. This is going to be interesting. So can I select all of these and do this all at the same time? Okay, I've got three. Okay, three selections. That's good. So I'll go down one. Okay, so now I have this as my book ID. Okay, so associate with book. So book ID as Oh, and this is a test book. So that's types like that. Do I have a, where's my test book? Oh, because of your API book. That's what it is. Okay, that that works. Okay, so you associate with the book, I take in the test book. I get API book as ref unwrap. And then ID. So wonder if I can unwrap. And there's no problems so far. Okay, we're getting a 200 on 126. Which is right here. Okay, so this is the create the book on its own. Okay, so I want to extract out the book, I want to run the query to create the book, and then I want to respond with the created book. I don't create the book, do I?
Oh, I do. This is the book. So I skip API book. I have name, price, and in stock. Okay. Name, price, and in stock. So we have name, price, and in stock. They're all options, but that's fine. Uh, so that leaves us to go to out book. Again, JSON. Okay, so we get that out. It should still be a 200. It should not be a something like a 400 or something. For some reason, the fact that I called that folder types is kind of bothering you a little bit. I, I haven't come up with a better name for it. Uh, do, do you or does anyone here have any suggestions for naming like my custom types? Anything other than types? I guess like in my mind, I'm thinking to them like, oh, I'm creating types. Uh, I don't know. Models? Ooh. Yeah, models could be really good. Helix, I don't believe, has the ability for me to change the name of folders so we're gonna be we're gonna be doing it this way yeah let's 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 name it models that'll be good okay so now we have models there and now everybody's gonna be really really ha unhappy For example, you need to be models. Uh, wait, you can't find this? Oh, right, right, right. You can't find this because library needs to update it. Okay, now we can start finding all these errors. Uh, so we have create types. Okay. That is that one, right? Okay, we're good to go there. Uh, let's see, we're going back to Okay, so we're getting still 200, so not not airing out on the router book. So extracting the JSON is fine. All right, run the query to create the book. Uh, do I even have any queries? So db author queries, no. I could put it in here. I could put an author query. Or insert author book, maybe. Okay, 
So we'll take in the database connection uh, and I'll take in a book, which I think we can just go ahead and take ownership of that book. So that'll be fine. Um, I do need to return the book, return a new version of the book. Okay. So, um, we're going to, okay. We first want to have an active model. of this book and we're going to create that right and we can do this all in one line can't we so i can just do okay uh to create oh it's not create we're going to entity book authors active model author ID okay so I have the book but that doesn't help with this let's take this into on forgetting to set uh, book ID okay, so then I'm not here yet why am I thinking I'm here yet I'll come back here once we're done I need to be in books I don't have any DB queries so Okay, so we'll take a DB, which is a database connection. Uh, and we'll take in a new book, which is a book. And we'll take ownership of that. Uh, and we will return a new a book. Um, Pika, hello. How are you doing today? You're currently drained and may uh, and may go to sleep without notice. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, so I don't need an ID. I do need a name. So that's gonna be a set. So book dot name. But of course, these are all unknowns, right? So we need to extract these out. So some name.
now that I said that, a nap may be in order. I I recommend it. I think it's a good idea. Um, all right, so we have name. Just want that to be name like that. Uh, what's next? We have price. We set price. And in stock, which if I'm creating a new book, well, I, I think I'm passing it in, aren't I? Okay, so I do that. Then I want to save this. Oh, uh, the other one is going to be default for the ID. We're going to save this, pass it in the DB. We await. We question mark you. Um, and then I get back an active model so then I want to into so I want to turn it into a model oh so try into model which gives me a result right so I can question mark you now I have a model so then I want it to convert it into a book and that's think that's it right uh so apparently i forgot to bring in set uh and then uh, okay so entity books model into is not satisfied for entity books model input in models book book okay so that's that's what i was looking for making sure that i had the right one uh, all right, so let's head over there. So what? Models book. Ooh, wait, wait, do I still have types open? I don't have any types open. Okay. So we have models book. Oh, from a reference to a model for a book. I kind of want to do the same thing, but is there is there one that I can do that handles both? I don't think so, right? I'm pretty sure I have to do this twice. Which is exactly the same thing. So now that gives me the into, so that inserts a book and then gives me back that book, but now with all the things, including the ID in there, right? Yeah, including the ID. I don't care about that book I'm giving ownership of it over anyways. Let's shadow it. Oh, we do need the database. Oh, hey, Zilby. Hello. Are you going to lay down or sit down or sit there?
Um, okay, so state, I want this to be a state. App config, and I will need to pull in state. Okay, so that gives me the DB. Okay, so state.db. I need the book. Uh, we'll await and we'll then map the error. Okay, so if we get this error, this is an error when creating the book, right? So I don't want to return nothing. I want to turn result impulse into response and the error is going to have to be a status code which is always tries to go to the request status code not status code i care about and then this one we can just do this as a uh, oh we we do have a special response don't we We have a response object. Which I want to be nothing. Can I do that? Oh, right, right, it's JSON. You don't exist. Import fine. Use axiom HTTP. That status code, please. Okay, so now you're just upset that we're not doing the thing. Okay, so for here, we're gonna do an early return. Uh, we're in a map error, so I guess it's not an early return. We're just returning a normal error. A normal error is gonna be this here. We do status code. This was an insert, so um, I'll just do it as a, a four or five hundred. Um, and then I want to create, what was this called? Response object. Hey, hey, no. That's that's holding it's holding the microphone cable. Here. Look at that. Oh, and of course that's when he decides to light it. Um, okay, what was it doing? New internal error, and then we have a message. There was an error uh, inserting or creating the book. So if I do that, uh, then I can question mark you, and we have we have the book. You're upset. Couldn't convert the error to. It gives me a response object.
I don't know how much I like this. I don't think I like our response object with how I have to do this for errors. That doesn't seem helpful. Um, I want to do like an object with a, basically it's nothing in there. So literally any any object in there will work. Like I can do an I thirty two. You that won't work. Did I do this again? I did this again. Type annotations required, where? Uh, so we have JSON, response object, and then, does it not like that? Or is it because I'm not returning an okay with the status code? Hmm. Oh, that's what it was. I'm not returning okay with the status with the status code in it. Ah. Uh. Okay. I wish. I wish that to do was happier with that would like make that work uh, or not not air out so that I could um, deal with it properly. So you're happy here with that. OK, so we have a book. Uh, then we want. OK, so we've inserted the book here. Uh, I guess at that point, oh, I want to return what this book is, don't I? So it's not just status code. I do want a, this probably to also be a status code and a JSON response object with a book inside. So you're gonna be Couldn't convert the error to, why not? Why is, okay, so this is the tuple I'm returning. Here's my status code. Here's my JSON response object. Okay, do I need to go back to making you not be just an unknown? No, okay. So what are you upset about? Required for result, status code, JSON response, object, book.
I'm thinking about ripping out this response object thing. I don't think it's really all that helpful. And it's causing more problems than I than I want it to. I probably want something like response object error. And this would be under models. Okay, so I have the response object in here. Yes, we have this status data error. But the problem being that this is attempting to be generic here. The problem is that when I have an error, I don't have anything in there to to be generic unless unless I want to create an empty object. Yeah, so we have this empty response So that that might be what I need to do. Use that empty response. You're still unhappy. I used the right JSON, right? Yes, Axum JSON. Okay, so your result, input into response, and then the error is going to be a tuple. That has. Oh, how did I manage that? I did like a double tuple in there. Okay, well, that makes you happy. Okay, so run the query to create the book, uh, respond with the created book. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so that makes you happy. So now, well, actually, no, it doesn't make you happy. You Now you failed, associate other created book. Error decoding response body, missing field status. Um, right, because you're not supposed to be a status code here. You're, sp oh, that's where, that's where I, I messed with it. Okay, so I want a response object book here. Oh, that's, wait, how do I do that again? Okay, I'm getting confused here. This is the first part of the object. I keep on missing it and thinking that this is like the beginning of the result, but it's not. Into So I have this impl into response. That should handle it just fine. So that should then return this, which is status code created. Oh, JSON. So instead of book, I want this to be a response object. new created and pass it in the book. Okay. Now, now we get a 200 when we want a 201 on line 91 of test types, but we want tests, probably test models now. 
So we want to rename that too. Before, I've done a bunch of work in there, haven't I? Tests, types, only one. Okay, so no more types are open. So. What are you looking at? So interestingly at He makes me think that there's like some something down there, but I don't see anything. Okay, so we're gonna go to tests. Let's move our types to models. And fix the errors. Okay, so uh, model. Ooh, did they call it models? I think I did call it models. Okay, well, that was fast. Uh, all right, so this is, um, models. Line 91, we want this to be a 201, we got a 200. This is the associate with the book. This is going to book authors. So let's let's create new routes for this. I think that, that makes sense. So in router, okay, so router, I have a book author. Uh, and then we also want under DB, let's create under DB book author queries. And I probably need a book author model, don't I? Just for something going in and coming back out. So where is that? That's in models. Oh, and I have book author in the models already. So I guess we'll start with the models. Okay, so let's change this to be just a book author. Um, no matter what, we're always gonna have these. So I think we're fine there. Then I think we should go to queries next. So book author queries. Did he find a spider? I can't tell. It's underneath his little, um, there's a tube, little tunnel thing that's, um, behind the, uh, behind this thing that you can't really see. He's like jamming his, uh, paw in there to, um, I'll, like just play with whatever it is it might be a spider it might not be it's hard to tell 
If it is, he's been very bad at actually trying to catch and kill it. But Zilby's not a good hunter. I've been not having good luck with this auto linked tree thing. So we are in DB. Okay, so we're gonna have a public function insert book author. Uh, we know we're gonna take in the DB. So there's a reference to a database connection. It's not that thing. Um, and I want a book author which I can take ownership. Okay, wipe. And we're gonna return a result with a book author. Um, okay, let's throw it to do in here. Uh, you've always wondered, do you think cats are immune to radioactive spiders, or do you think we can have a mutant cat? I certainly hope that they're immune to radioactive spiders, because think about, think about the ramifications of a mutant cat. None of them would be good for us. Like, cats love us. But that doesn't mean that it's a, that if they were like any bigger, that it would be a healthy relationship. They would love us to death, like they do everything else in their life. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They would 100% kill. They would regret killing us because then we won't be there to pet them or anything, but they, that wouldn't stop them. That would be like an, oh no, my oh, my my human died again. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to the human store and get another one. And then the, the cat there's gonna be like, really, again? Well, you like everybody else. Okay, we have a million of these in the back. Just go choose one again. Oh, there is no ID on this, so that's fine. For some reason, I was thinking, like, I need, I need to do an ID, but I don't. Okay, so we have you. I already have the model, so we're just going to return an OK. Uh, we want to create the active model. So we're going to start with entity book authors active model. Uh, we're going to get the author ID is going to be a set. Now, what's the difference between getting set from active value here and getting set just from CRM? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, so that's going to be book author, author ID. And it's not a sum because we always have to have that no matter where this is being used. Uh, okay, next up, book ID. We have set. Book author, book ID. We managed to take that to a whole new level. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like this is one of those things where like there probably is some some novel about that. Maybe like a short story where it's some kind of psychological horror about how cats rule the world, but all we are are just playthings for them. 
Um, okay, so this is, I want to save you. And the DB. We await, question mark that. Uh, after I get that back, I got the model. So we have to turn it into a model. There's a result. So I question mark that. Then I want to do an into. Which you're going to yell at me because book author doesn't implement that. That's fine. I can fix that. I want to use the book authors model. Okay, author ID is going to be value dot your ID. Book ID is going to be value dot book ID. Okay, so now you're happy and we can head back to the route. The router. Uh, so router book. Oh, I don't have that in here. I should probably create this. Yeah, let's create another router thing for this. Where did I create that? Oh, I did, I did, ouch. Okay, give me a book author. Okay, create the book author. I guess we'll we'll get our I already have this, don't I? In the authors. I want to remove you from authors. So router authors. Yeah, associate book with authors. Let's create that. Okay, so we're gonna to go to book authors with a post and that's gonna create the book author. So that shouldn't really change anything except you all fail. Unresolved import. Nope. Um, let's see. This is in models. Which models is this? Create book author. So models.
Okay, so this is in test models? This is in test models, right? Create the book author. Oh, right, 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 because I named it just book author, I think. Right? So test models. Book author is now book author. Uh, you know what? Test models. I've confused myself again. In tests, where's my tests? Okay, I have books, I have models, and I have authors. You shouldn't be in either of those, right? So we have tests, models, Oh, test models is just one thing. Okay, so we have test book. Create author, that's it. So book author is this create book author. I think I just want to, I think it's just book author, right? So book author, hand it the author ID, hand it the book ID, and then we go from there. Okay, so we're getting a 200 and we want a 201, 91. Test model is 91. That one. Okay, so we get a response. And that's okay. Because you're you're doing this. So I want a state which Okay, so we get the op config. Hey, Zilby, are you back from your spider hunting? Are you still staring down? But now from on high. I wish um, I wish this camera, I could position it farther away. You can give him a better view. Maybe I can do. It's not the best, but. Um, okay, so state app config, uh, and then I want the book author coming in. Oh, it's gonna be JSON. And we're going to return a result. Okay, so. This can still be an impulse into response, right? Uh, but then the other one is going to be a status code. And a response object. With empty response.
Okay, so get that now. Um, we've extracted out the database. We've extracted out the other thing. So I want to call the queries. Uh, let's do let um, our created book author is going to be equal to book author queries. Insert book author, a reference to state that db uh, and then the book author await um, map the error Okay, and we're gonna return a tuple with a status code, uh, which I need to tell you what that is. Internal server error and a, let's see, insert book author. Um, so then, oh, this is the, do this again. You are you're going to be that JSON object, uh, JSON surrounding response object new internal error message error creating association between book and author okay so we do that um that this thing right so question mark you okay so that gives me a book author here We'll have to just ignore the red for a while because no matter what I try to do to get rid of it, there, there's some red. So, all right, so we have book author. Then I want to just return that book author. I think I just want to return the book author as it is. So, return it. Okay, JSON. Um, response object, new created book author. Okay, there we go with that. Let's see if you're any happier. We got a 500. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what happened. Um, error inserting book author record not found. Error failed to find updated item. So this was... Okay, post to book authors, that makes sense. Okay, so our post to book authors was this. Select this from where, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, interesting. It was a select and not an insert statement. I 
I wanted it to be an insert statement. Okay, so I create this, so we do act, I do an active model, which sets both of these things, and then I click save. And it queried for it. Now, if I remember correctly, X, C or M, does a query for it first if there's no ID. And because this, because the entire model doesn't have an ID, then it doesn't know that this, is, okay. So it thinks that this exists first. So it's actually gonna do an update. So I wonder if I can do instead of save, is there like an insert? We're gonna do an insert like that. Maybe you'll be happier. We got a 200. Instead of a 201. On line 91, so test models. Yeah, so I wanted a post to book authors to be a 201 that it was not. Um, oh yeah, so right here, I have to do this as a tuple. Okay, that makes it happy. Um, Banzi, hello. My cat looks like someone is beating their head on a table. Problem is I don't have a good angle to like see see Zilby. I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could try fix that. Move that away. Oh, sorry, not trying to bother you. Okay, that's slightly better. I know it's uh, it, it's in a basement, so it's not it's not super cold, um, but yeah, he's he's pretty he's he's feeling cold, but he wants to hang out here with me. So oh, and of course, he switches over to facing it as far away from the camera as possible after that. It'll be high. I don't want to turn on the uh, the heater because it's going to be in the 90s Fahrenheit today. I know a true cat every every time. Now I can now I can move him back. Move you all. Back over here. Okay, now you can see his face.
All right. So, okay, that passes that. You're going to pass now? You're going to pass now. Okay, so let's double check that we did what we expected to do. So we have Tess under authors that we can associate an author with a book. So we create a new author. Uh, we create a new book. We associate the author with the book. We reload the author from the API. We make sure that we have two books in here. No, we make sure we make sure we have one book in here, and that it's the book that we created. Okay, we're we're good to go. Bansy, you're going crazy this week with about AI tools. What's your um? So I haven't really looked too many into them. I've I've only just used um some like search stuff, and it's it's been pretty fun. They're not really amazing yet. But they're definitely improving. You can yeah, if you um if you want to join Nancy, are you in the Discord? I don't remember if I've seen you in the Discord. Is it in alphabetic order? It kind of is. Oh yeah, you're in the Discord. Okay. Yeah, if you if you want to uh, just sort of show any of those those cool things off in general, that'd be great. That's not where I want to go. I want to go back to you. Then we can all play around with them. I did a I did a cool I did a cool um sort of like playing around with AI generators. Uh some of us some of us instructors, ex instructors were um were looking at code school like current active right now code school um blurbs, like three paragraph, like this is the reason why you should use you go to our our uh code school. And we decided to try to use a variety of AI tools to see if we could rewrite them better. And most of them were either worse or just as bad as like the real ones right now. I was able to use find, which is not meant for writing blurbs at all. It was me it's meant for like helping you write code. Um, I used that to to rewrite it and after like six iterations i got it to be generally generally super happy positive jokey insane um but it's better than better better than what we see in uh in in the in live which i thought was really interesting which i think goes to show that some of the tools that are meant for one thing can be used for other things really well So you're happy. Okay, you're all happy. We did a lot today. Okay, so git commit. Uh, let's choose. Um, and Bansy, I'll probably take a look at. The, I'll probably take a look at the links later today. If that's okay, uh, I have I have some time I think during during my work days, so I usually hang out with Discord. All right, so we are testing that we can associate uh, an author with a book. All right, what is next? We want to go. Oh, let's also those all are buffers. Um, your models mod. Okay.
Okay, so all these tests are written now. I think we're getting close to the end of authors. All right, so we just did this one. Uh, next up, well, the last one, delete an author. All right, we can do hard deletes on this one. I think that's fine. Uh, because if I delete an author, here's, here's the question. Do I want to also delete the book? Probably not, right? I want to delete... I want to delete the association. So if I delete the author, then the association should be gone too. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to create an author, create a book, associate author with book. Uh, I want to delete author um author so like verify author no longer in database verify that author um author book so that deleted that author no longer associated with book. And I suppose the book, I suppose the author, I suppose the book can just have nobody. Do we want that book to be deleted too? I might want the book to be deleted if it doesn't have um, any authors. So. Verify that book no longer in database. All right. So it's a, a lot of stuff here. So. Okay, I've created the author. Um, create a book. Okay, so I've created a book. I want to associate the author with the book. Okay, easy enough. We do author dot associate with book, pass it the book. Okay, done. I want to now delete the author. All right, we've been doing all these things inside of inside of these objects, so I don't see a reason why not to continue with that. All right, so uh, if I want to do this, I want to send a delete request to slash authors.
um, authors with the ID. So I need the ID of the book. Uh, the ID of the book is going to be up, uh, up there. So I think that's in some, right? So hold on. Okay, so that gives me the response object. So saved. Okay, so that gives me the author. Um, Inside of there, we have data. Some. I just keep on shadowing this. Now I get the ID which absolutely exists here, so this doesn't need to be a sum. Okay, so now we have you. Go to ID. I guess with this one, we can just do an okay like that, and it'll be fine. Um, you're unhappy. Why? Uh, cannot move out of self. That's fine. I Do I need to? I don't know if I need to. Because I'm getting an ID. Uh, I'm getting I32, which implements copy, so that's fine. All right, so here's our, U we have our URL. We wanted to delete, so we need a client. And I don't need anything else. We're not doing authentication with this, so it's, just gonna be going to delete, going to not do whatever I did there. Uh, send, I think, I think I'm hitting like period when I'm in normal mode and that's inserting things I don't wanna insert. Okay, so that gives me the response. I want this to be a 200 because I don't think deleted. Um, oh, oh, this could be a 204 uh, empty response. I can do an empty response for this one. Okay. All right. Um, so I want to now run this. And this should be our first failed test. We got a 405, not a 204. So that makes sense. This is part of authors. So I should be able to go to source route author.
I'll do one of these. Okay, that should change it from a 405 to a 200. All right, so what do we want to do in here? So to 200, we want a 204. Let's see here, I can return with status code. Okay, so that's making all the tests pass. Excellent. Um, Louise, hello. Uh, Zilla still doesn't have a session recovery thing, right? Like TeamX continue. Oh yeah, no, I've uh, I've crashed Zellage and it doesn't recover. Uh, or I've crashed like, um, yeah, if it crashes, I don't have a, a recovery like that. Now if I if I quit. So if I do O, I can detach like that. Um, and then create a new one. Let's not add me. Zellage, what is it, list? No, Zellage. What is it? It's not session layout. Attach. So Zellage A. And that brings me right back to where I was. So that's that's as close as we get to session recovery. Uh, so if it got detached for some reason, I can reattach to it. But if Zellage itself crashed, then it's it's over. So yeah, Tmux is much better about handling that. And screen too. Tmux and Screen are both really good at that. Okay, so I've got that. Now I want to verify that the author no longer is in the database. Okay, so... Um... Author is no longer a database. What I want to do is let author, I'm done with the author above there. Maybe I might not be. So let's do DB author. Okay, so we're gonna do entity authors. Oh, right, entity authors, entity. We want to find by ID, which means I need the author ID. Do I have a, a get the ID? I don't. So I think I want to do basically these. And just return the ID like that. Okay. 
So I get the author ID. That gives me a select. Um, I should be able to do get one. Uh, I need a database. So let's create a database. Am I doing this elsewhere up here? I think I am, right? Oh, 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 I don't have to actually look into the database, do I? I could, I could just go and directly grab it again. Ooh, okay. So I don't actually need to do any of that. Verify that I can do an author dot reload from API immediately afterwards. And then I should have nothing in there. So uh, we, I want to assert that the author dot saved is none. A bull first ad. Hello, how are you doing today? So I'm not sure that's going to work properly. Uh, we may have to do some updates with this. Okay, so we panicked at author saved as none because you are something. Right? You're you're something. That's why it that's why the assertion failed. Okay. So um all right, we need to update you to actually do the thing, to do a delete, right? Um I'm not convinced that my refresh doesn't fail if it well fails but um we'll 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 do our best okay so an actual delete so an author router like this we have no content oh i want to go to the author queries don't i Now I could get it. I don't think I need to get the active model. So I think it's just going to be entity authors entity. I want to find by ID. Pass the ID. Uh, I want to find one. Huh. 
Can I delete? What does that give me? That gives me a model, right? Oh, it gives me an option model. Okay, so if you don't exist, I probably want it to just, I don't care, right? We'll just do an early return like that. We're okay, we don't care. Uh, so if we get this, can I now do an author dot yeah, now we can do an author delete, pass it that database. Like that. And now, now we return you. Okay. Now, the only thing I care about here is if there's an error. So if And then we have the path too, don't we? Okay, so if we get this, I want to tracing error. Tracing error, deleting um, author. And so at this point, I want to return not just status code. A status code and a, a tuple. status code, response object, um, empty response. Okay, so trace an error, we're gonna do an early return, error, Status code, internal server error, uh, response, object, new internal error, and the message is going to be okay, there's an error between the author, and we're good to go. Okay, so we're good there. Um, you now have to be an okay. Okay, so you're upset. Um, you're not, you're not doing the thing. So result status code, we we do an impl to response. Associated type output not found. Uh, router author line 88. Okay, so that's this line right here. Um, because once again, I forgot the JSON. Keep on doing this. Uh, it's right there. Match surround that. Wait. Match surround that. 
and then you it's so easy to forget Um, oh, what did I do? Oh, into response. I forgot a comma. Wait, no, I didn't. I want that there and then a parentheses here. Man, my, my Helix, um, updates with the res results are not good. Okay, so what did I do? Uh, add missing generic. Um, oh, right. Uh, wait. That's that one right there. Oh, hold on. No, I had it correct. Haha, <laughs> okay. So I want that to be there like that, comma, open parentheses, we want a status code like that. There we go. All right. You failed. Um, let's see why you failed. You failed. Panicked, assertion failed. Author saved is none. Okay, so. When I attempt to get it again, just want to do tests, models. Reload from API. So I get the internal author ID. get the URL and I set response to be that, which I think should be a none. You didn't like that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Apparently he didn't like that, that, that tone. I think that the response from, I think this response isn't what I think that it is. Or there's another possibility here. It's also possible that I'm not waiting long enough before trying to hit this again. There's something that I've, that I've run into in the past if you do a delete action to a database and then you query that database really fast afterwards, then it's going to uh, still be there. Which isn't necessarily what we want. Now you have failed at assertion saved as none, which makes me think that maybe I need just need to, to wait a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Uh, not wait right here. I want to wait here. So right before the reload from API, we need to wait a tiny bit. Wait for it to happen. Now, in JavaScript, uh, I could I could tell the event loop to essentially wait until I/O is complete. I don't think I have that here. Uh, I can I can create a an async function to is it is there? What's my wait options? It's um I can do like a thread. Oh, it's been forever since I've done this. 
there's a there's a sleep method okay use thread sleep and then i oh i get a duration let's do from millies let's wait like a quarter of a second That's still failing. After a quarter of a second, it should definitely be done. Which makes me think that this isn't actually what I think is happening here. Uh, let's try debug here. Uh, I want to debug. Just debug the entire author. Which doesn't implement. Okay, fine. We can fix that. Uh, now, did I set you to actually display debug output? Um, I did. Okay, so this is authors. Line one sixty one. Okay, we have a create. We have a create author there. We okay. We have saved. Saved to some. So I reload from API. Which gives me. Oh. So saved. Oh, oh, look at that. We got a 404. Not found. OK, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are we are correct. I'm just not doing this right. Uh, I don't even, I don't know if I need that. Um, I'll do it again if this fails. So we have you, we reload. It's, it's actually more, I guess it's more interesting than this. So I want to check to see that the data is none. So. Okay, so author dot saved dot we have to unwrap you and if this fails this is that should cause an error right so unwrap author saved unwrap that's this one and we're going to response object dot data is a nut I want that to be a nut There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, I want to verify that the author is no longer associated with the book. So uh, do we have a in models here? Do I have a book author a test book author? I don't think so. I think I have to actually just go and grab that, don't I? Uh, maybe I have to actually grab this from the database. So I have to do a connection and all that stuff. Um, or I have to do a get. So URL to get, um, Do we have a base URL here? We'll find out.
I don't think I have an API for just getting getting those directly. So I, I don't think the URL is right. I think I have to actually check the database. Oh, it's not database connection, it's database. Then I can do connect. I think I have this in a dot env. Let's see. I'm going to check with my other terminal. Yes, 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 I know. I have database underscore URL. Okay, so give me that. We're going to connect into you. That gives me the database connection. I can now use this to get the book author. We don't know, there's no ID, so I can't find by ID. So it'll have to be a find. How does this work again? I want to find. Um... Ah, huh, that just finds one. That's not helpful at all. Uh, I don't remember how to how to scroll down inside of this window. There's scroll view up and view down, which is Z is up. What? Oh, Z. Okay, so. weird okay that's so it's not the scroll unless it's shift Z I don't see anything else No, that just opens up this view, which is not what I want. Uh, okay, well, I'll figure that out some other time. Let's go in the CRM and remind myself how to find. I need to do like something like uh, the problem. One of the problems with um, CRM is like I want to find. Oh, it's a where, right? It's um, that's a filter. That's what it is. I was like thinking it's like okay, I know it's not where, but it's it's a filter, right? I thought so. There it is. Okay, I want a filter. And this one shows, okay, now I can do, I want that column ID thing. So, and with that cake being the entity 
So. Entity book authors. Ooh, I could do column. There it is. Author ID. Is going to be equal. Okay, hold on. Author ID is okay. Column author. So column author ID is equal to. And then I want the author get ID. Now I reloaded this, right? So I have that author. I reload from the database and it's gone now. So I need I need to I need to keep the author ID out here before I reload. Okay, so equal to author ID. I don't think I need to build that because I don't, I want to look at the thing. I just want to then run it. So, uh, then let's get all of them. And a reference to the DB. Okay. That gives me a VEC of the book author models. And so I want to assert that this is empty, that there's, there's nothing here anymore. So you're upset. Why are you upset? Any book uh, cost, uh, column is not an iterator. The following trait balance. Oh, I need to import you. Okay. Okay. Panicked at assertion book author is empty. So book author is not empty. There is still a model in there. So I bet, I bet if we uh, debug this out, we would see, there it is. It still exists inside of here. So, um, what I need to do is I need to tell, I need to tell it to cascade when it deletes to then delete the book author, which I think we have to do when we create the migration. So I think I have to create a migration for this to update the association, or I have to just reset the database and run it all over again which I don't really care if I reset the database or not. I think that's fine. What's the best way for me to do this? I could, I could run down on the migrations. That might, that might work. So 
So if I down, I don't know how many I've done. I could, now if I do reset, I think that runs all of them over again. So hold on. Roll back all applied migrations. Ah, uh, refresh rolls back and then reapplies. I just want to reset, okay. I want to do reset. That rolls everything back and I actually like that command. Um, at least when, when I like the command when I'm developing. That command, if you accidentally push that at production, is just the giant red button that deletes everything in your, your database, which is um, scary. Okay, so I've got you there. I want to... Okay, so see books, create books, see authors, create authors, create book authors. Okay, so I create the book authors. Oh, it's not in here, is it? I don't think I create any of the relationships in here, do I? The relationships are an entity. So we need to go take a look at how to do this in CRM. A note on unaware side effects. Do not use cascade unless the relation is strictly parent-child. Is this parent-child? I would think so, but... So it's specifically calling out and saying, oh, that's all, that's part of writing tests. Oh, that's writing tests. So writing tests. Oh, interesting, we're robust and correct. Oh, okay, so in here, writing tests, robust and correct. That's not interesting.
Interesting. So, okay, where, where do I want to put? So in relationships, I have many to many. And there's nothing cascade in here. Uh, so I think I need to do a relationship in migration. Which I don't see that here either. Okay, so let's go back to migration. I want to if I create the book authors, I've already created the authors table. And I've already created the books table, right? So book authors comes absolutely last. I primary key create this. So is there is there a relationship that I can do? Foreign key. And then I need to do a foreign key create statement. Create a foreign key constraint for an existing table. Ah, here's where I can do our cascades like this. So foreign key. Huh, what's the difference between this? So it's using the suggestion of foreign key, but that's a statement. Shorthand, okay, so they're both the same. Foreign key, new. Uh, oh, it's not create, it's create. Right? Foreign key, create, and then we can do dot name. As this name would be on a uh, link to so book author foreign key. From care table care font ID. What am I doing this in? To font table font ID. I'm not sure which, which direction I'm going in from or to. So is that comma? I'm trying to press I and I'm accidentally hitting, I think, comma or period, and I'm doing that. In, insert the last thing I did, so repeat the action, which is not necessarily what I want. Uh, okay, so I want from, and that's gonna be two things. So I want book authors, author ID, 
to, and then I need to go up to go to authors. Oh, this needs to be public, doesn't it? So create authors, you need to be public now. ID. No function or so, okay, so do you need to be foreign key? That's what you need to be. But of course, you don't give me the documentation that foreign key create statement does. Nice. Cool. Okay, so from that, uh, okay, so we have name from two. Oh, okay, I get it. So from my table to the other table. So it's it's not like this. It's book authors table to book authors ID. Two, this will be authors, table, authors, ID, uh, it is author ID like that. So from to that, Great. okay, so from to, and then on delete, we're going to do foreign key action cascade. We can also do on update foreign key action cascade and then to owned. So on delete, on update. Oh, why does it keep on putting that comma in there? I don't want that comma in there. There it is. On delete. Foreign key action cascade. I guess we could just do on delete for that one. And then we'll do it to owned. You don't want that to be to owned. We just want that. Okay. So then I want to do the foreign key. I want to do this entire thing the other way too. So foreign key. Want to create name. Uh, this can be a um, book. Foreign key, this doesn't, wait a second, this doesn't make sense. This is, let's 
do foreign key for book author author. Foreign key for book author book. Okay, we'll do so we have name from book authors table book authors book ID two okay so we need to go find that books table books ID delete foreign key action cascade Oh, I did this outside of there. Okay, so I want... No wonder it got weirded out. Do you need that too, owned? No. Okay, so do foreign key, foreign key... Oh, is there a two owned here that I need? And you don't want that. That's what it is. Okay. Okay, so I've created two foreign keys for this table. Now I need to add foreign keys for the other tables, which means I need to go down to this enum and make you public. Uh, all right, so I need here. So let's do. Actually, I don't know if I can do that right now because they're going to cre create it first and they don't exist yet. So maybe maybe this will just be good enough. Um, I'm a little bit worried that I have the from the two reversed, but we'll find out. How that that exists okay so let's uh rerun these migrations see how they are so up okay it's applied those so next up is we just run this again see if our tests are happy hey and now they are happy so that means in our test for authors, uh, this is in fact empty. The book is no longer, um, oh, the book author is no longer in the database. Now, if I wanna test to see if the book is no longer in there, um, we could, I'm, I'm, I don't think I have, we have a, I'll do a get on this one.
Ooh, so I need one thing in here. So it's option book. So you're an API book. Then once I'm in the API book, I should be able to get the ID out of here. So which is an option. Okay. Okay, so then I can get the ID. Okay, so get, we're gonna do a get to the base URL books ID. So that should get a single book. We'll do a get to the URL. That should get us the response. I wanna get this into the book. I guess I should, we can assert at this point in time. So assert equal response dot status is 200, uh, which I'm not sure that it is right now. Um, I don't need to own you. Okay, so. We assert the book author is empty, so that's now book. Oh, we're going to want to get the book ID out and save that. I'll deal with that later. Let's do a book dot reload from API. Because I'm about to run out of time anyways. All right, so we're getting a 404. From a 200, uh, if we go to the models, uh, it is that line 164, so it's this one. So it's basically, we're attempting to get, get a single book and that we don't have a route for that. So we do have a router book. Match around that. Okay, so these are books. I'm gonna go to books on ID. We're gonna get. Okay. Those are all good there. Uh, so that should give me a 200 now. Okay, so we're, we're back to still going good here. So reload from the API uh, here. Okay, so I've reloaded from the API here. I want to uh, we get a 200 because it's working kind of, uh, and now I want to get the book out of here. So I 
and I want you to be a book. And you're going to fail. And you're going to fail because, yeah, air will parsing this. So it's it's essentially nothing, and I want to be able to get, get the book, which means I need a book query next. So get book, I guess get by ID. And we'll turn a result and an option and a book because we don't know if we're going to have it. And that is where we're going to leave off. So that is going to cause an error in the code, which is great because that means it's going to be really easy to find exactly where to go next time. We're going to go right to where this area is and write the query. Um, and I know next time is tomorrow, but like tomorrow is like slightly less than 24 hours away. How can I possibly remember from one day to the next? It's impossible. I'll tell you. Okay, so we're going to write all... Close all the buffers. All right, so we are work in progress. Um, testing that we can delete. I guess like testing that when we delete an author, we also delete the If I guess it's just for that one thing, I might want to add in something else where it's like only deleting the book if there's one author. Not sure about that. That might end up having to be runtime logic as opposed to database logic. I'm not exactly sure how the cascade would work in that way. It might cause an error if there is multiple things. Maybe maybe we should update to have like two authors with one book. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so get command. We're gonna run. We did that stuff. We'll push you up. And um, I think that. That's it right now. Um, I don't have anything else. So let's go ahead and call it a, a stream. Um, uh, I uh, I do have to end because I have my day job to go to. Uh, so the plan is tomorrow morning, I'll be back at around uh, six o'clock mountain time again to uh, continue working on this uh, this project. We're getting, we're getting really close. We're almost done with all the author tests. And once we're done that, I think the book tests are gonna go really fast, mostly because we've written a bunch of book stuff anyways. So it's certainly gonna go faster than the author stuff. So with that, um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day and uh, see, you, uh, see you next time. Bye.